What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am High Priestess the Oracle aka the Oracle and I'm back with another banger. Back with another video guys. All right this video is for my Libras. I love you guys. I love Libras. You guys are cool. You're cool with me. Very sweet people. All about balance though and sometimes y'all can get trapped in y'all head okay y'all can't get out of y'all head sometimes y'all so indecisive but that's okay though that's okay because um that's the energy that i'm feeling right now there's a lot of uh indecisiveness right now with my libras tonight okay welcome back to your late night vibe session guys okay this is a late night vibe i was called to do this reading uh for my libras okay so um obviously this is very important and um, I want to get started with the reading for you guys, okay? All right. So we're, we're going to get started. We're going to hop right on in, guys, okay? We're going to hop right on in because it was like, something was like, you got to do Libra. You got to do Libra. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know my messages are timeless, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, guys? We're going to hop right on in, too, guys. Um, okay? All right, spirit guys, what is the message from my Libras? Okay, what is the message for Libra this evening, or tonight, rather? We have the Eight of Swords. What did I say? You show up to your own reading too. Okay? You are in your head. You are thinking real heavily about something right now. You can't get something off your mind. Okay? There's something weighing uh, extremely heavy on you. Okay? All right? Let's see what else we got here. I feel like, too, you, you, you feel sad about something as well. I mean, you're, you're definitely thinking a lot here with the Eight of Swords, but you feel um, sad about something. Let's keep going. My Libra gang. Gang, gang, y'all. What's up to my Libras? I love y'all, though. Okay, judgment. We also have, and that is Libra energy as well, by the way. We also have the uh, Three of Wands here. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to shift some of these cards around here off the table. Okay. We also have the Two of Pentacles. We also have the uh, Six of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the five of wands. There's a lot of wands here, guys. There, there is a lot of fire energy on this table as well. We have the king of wands. Wow. And the knight of wands. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Wow. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. You've made a judgment call. You have. You definitely have made a judgment call with this judgment card here. Um, you want to move towards... A Sagittarius, Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm feeling like a Sag here, though. I'm a Sag, too, by the way. Um, which we, you know, y'all know we cool. Y'all know we cool. Y'all know Sagittarius are cool as hell. But anyway, anyway, um, there is, I, I see what's weighing heavy here as I'm looking at the board right now. The thing is, you're ready to travel towards someone right now. You're ready to go towards someone that's at a distance from you. Okay, they could be an hour away from you. In some cases here, for others, could be a little further. But anyway, you've been waiting. You've been waiting around for a while here because you have been juggling other things here with the Two of Pentacles and with the Six of Wands, you're ready for victory and success, all right? You're ready for excitement. You are watching also someone online here, okay? Also, something has been exposed to you by somebody online that you've been watching, all right? You can't let go of this person with the four of pentacles. Okay, you, you can't. And but the but the problem is there is a lot going on in your mind about getting toward I mean going towards this person and getting to them. But the thing is you don't know if there's competition here with this five of wands. You don't know you're gonna if there's gonna be some type of uh 
conflict or not, okay? When you take action. Because you cannot keep your eyes off of this person. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay? This is the uh, king of wands. You have a lot of passion for somebody. You're very handsome. This person that you're looking at is very attractive. Um, there is so much passion here. You're ready to take action. There's, there's chivalry. There's kindness. There's everything here. And you're excited, too, with this knight of wands. So this is not, um, I don't feel like this is a rushing in and out type player energy at all. I just feel like you're ready to um, move forward here towards this person. I feel like you're super duper, um, I want to say super duper excited about moving towards this person, okay? It really feels like that, but it's just that I, I think that you're, you're not sure if this person has somebody or not. Let's keep going. We have the Knight of Cups, yeah. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, all right? You are ready for romance. You are ready for love. You want to take this person out on a date. Mm. Okay, you really are ready. But the, the, I think your major blockage here is the fact that you, you're not sure if this person has somebody else. Um, also, too, um, we have the Star card. And the Star card is we have two star cards in this deck but i just feel like you have been wishing for this for so long you've been wanting this for so long okay and this has really been on your mind all right also like i said you've been watching this person online <clears throat> and you can't get your mind off this person at all and it's like you see them and it's like you want to do something it's it's almost like you're like if i could just jump through the screen <laughs> then i'm going to do that right Okay, and you're trying to figure out how to manifest this situation with the magician card here. Okay, also we have the nine of swords. See what I mean? It's like you are there, there, there's there, there is a lot on your mind, there's a lot weighing heavy on your mind right now, and I feel like you can't sleep right now. You're up, okay, you are. Um, just totally restless. I just see an energy of just being bounded here. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Give me a second. I feel like when I look at this Eight of Swords, I see a little rope wrapped around this person's body here. And then with this Nine of Swords, I see the same type of rope wrapped around the wrist. You feel so bounded and constrained here. You feel like you can't move or something. Okay? You feel like... I, I don't know what to do kind of energy. I'm just, oh my God, kind of energy, you know? But I, but, but with the Seven of Swords here, it's like you're trying to think of a clever way to move towards this person. It's like, you don't, it's like for you, you're not exactly sure how to do it. And I think the reason is, is because there was some type of conflict before because we do have the Two of Pentacles here. So you were juggling someone else before. That's the problem. That's why you're in your head, okay? With that two of pentacles, you were you were definitely juggling another party here at some point, okay? You had someone else, and you weren't completely honest with this person about it, and then you feel bad now because you've let that person go, and now you're ready to move towards the person you really want to be with, and it's killing you because you're like, what if she doesn't want to be with me? What if he doesn't want to be with me? You know, kind of energy, all right? It's like this. It's like that's bothering you. All right, but you have to remember, you won't know unless you take that leap of faith, okay? You don't you won't know. All right. Um I'm going to pull some cards from my deck on this Knight of Cups here. Okay? Divine timing is here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so it, it's time now, all right? What, what, whatever you're thinking or whatever you're feeling, um, you're going to have to let that go. Okay. You really are. Okay. We also have, um, several cards have come out. We have girlfriend here. We have sex. We have phone call or cell phone. We have fighting. Okay, that kind of flew too. That flew over there on the Nine of Swords and the uh, Seven of Swords. Ooh, okay. And then we have Boyfriend. Okay, so what, what I'm picking up from these cards, let me just say, 
you, like I said, with the Knight of Cups here, you're ready to move towards a relationship. You're ready to move towards romance here with somebody. You want somebody to be your girlfriend. Okay? That's what it is. And you think this person is sexy. You're ready to have sex with them. You're ready to have some type of passion with this person. And you want to make a phone call. All right? You're ready to reach out to this person. But you've been fighting it. Okay? You've been fighting this. All right? Because, like I said, you don't know for sure if this person is going to accept you back. All right? And you really want to be their boyfriend. This is really sweet, though. This is really cute. Okay? And I, and I feel you. I feel you. But... Libras, please understand that you won't know until you try, okay? You won't know until you try, all right? That's exactly what that is, all right? Let's move on. I see the problem. I definitely see it, okay? What else, spirit guides? Okay, so we have the... Three of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. We have the Hierophant. Woohoo! Beautiful. King of Cups. The Tower. Aries Scorpio Energy. The devil, Capricorn energy. And then we have the six of swords here. And the five of pentacles. Okay, so, hmm, Libra, you are ready to reconcile here with someone that is very beautiful. And like, what did I say? This person that you're moving towards is a fire sign, more than likely a Sagittarius. Okay, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, she's a go getter, she's highly intuitive, all right? Okay, and this is someone that you want to build a family with, with the Ten of Cups here. You want to also give this person a ring or a gift. I think you're ready to propose to this person with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, because we do have the Hierophant Taurus energy here. Okay, this is somebody you want to build a relationship with, a long-term relationship, a marriage is here. Okay, this is what you want. Wow. And you're trying to think of a clever way to move forward to make this person like, okay, I want to make this person my girlfriend. I want to be their boyfriend. Okay, and then boom, you're going to propose probably. Okay, we have the king of cups. Yeah, you want commitment. You're in love with this person. But you're having a tower about the situation here. I think part of you, there's so much sexual energy here in this reading. You have so much passion for this person. Like it's, it's off the charts kind of passion. That's real sexy, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's real sexy, homie. <laughs> That's some sexy shit. You're obsessed with this person, with the devil card, but you're also in fear, okay? Right? You're a little bit fearful. But the cool thing about it is that you have moved on um, and moved out, okay? You, you have moved on from something that was very, very tough here for you. And you have also left somebody out in the cold as well. What did I tell you? I said before, with that two of pentacles, you have been juggling somebody in the past. But that's no more. You've left that toxic situation alone. And more than likely, it was a karmic cycle and a karmic relationship, a karmic family. It was something that was super toxic that you had to move on from. And, and the reason why you couldn't be with the person um, before was because you were still dealing with something that was very toxic. Okay? Give me one second. Let me drink this water. Okay. All right. Cool. <clears throat> I don't know. My throat was a little parched. All right. We have the star card at the bottom of the deck here. Okay. So, like I said, you've been watching somebody online. There's somebody that you've been hoping and wishing to be with. This is the star. She's a star. She has her own, maybe a, like her own little platform on social media. But you see her as a star as well. Okay. This is somebody you've always wanted to be with. What else, Spirit? Anything else for my Libras? Wow. My goodness. We have the lover's card. Gemini energy. And this lover card, I'm going to tell you in just a second. Let me see what other cards have fallen out here. The uh, Queen of Cups is here. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. The Justice card. The Nine of Wands. Okay, 
let me tell you, all these cards fell on top of the tower and the lover's card, it sort of fell on top of the queen of cups here and the um, queen of wands. Okay, so right off the bat, Libra, you have made a choice here, all right? You have chosen who you want to be with. That's a no-brainer for you right now, okay? That is a no-brainer, okay? That is a no-brainer. So you've made your choice, okay? Let me blow my stage out. Okay, that's a no-brainer. So you have made a choice in who you want to be with here. And you're in love with her, okay? You're in love with this Queen of Wands. I mean, Queen of Cups here. This is someone that is intuitive, highly intuitive, beautiful, nurturing, caring. She's like a mother figure, right? And this is someone you want to build your family with, okay? A legacy, all right? All right? This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is everything. This is like family business, wealth. Um, abundance in many ways. You guys are, are both abundant, okay? And this is the truth. This is the truth, right? With the Justice card, Libra, here you are again, okay? You want to come in with the truth. You want to balance out the scales here with this person, all right? But you don't know if you're blocked or not. Nine of Wands. You don't know if you're going <laughs> to... That's why this all fell out on top of the tower here, okay? You've made your choice in this Queen of Wands, all right? You've made your choice in someone that is absolutely divine beautiful gorgeous right okay anything else spirit so you made your choice you've made your choice but i think your only defeat here is you defeating yourself in this situation because you don't have the hope right a part of you doesn't it's like you're still like in the dark. You don't know for sure if you if if this is going to work out. Like, is she going to say yes? Is she going to say no? Is he going to say yes? Is he going to say no? Like, it's just really total confusion. So, spirit guides, um, is this Libra going to have success here with the person that they want to be with? Are they going to be successful? Yes, we had the Four of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You are going to have this stability. You are going to get married. There is marriage here. There is family here. But the thing is, you're still hurt. Okay? You're still dealing with hurt here from the past. All right? Okay? Um, and so that's your only downfall at this moment. So you're, you're, you're dealing with the fact you were dealing with individuals that hurt you. And you're also dealing with the fact that you hurt someone by not being honest with them. And now you're ready to move towards them. But the outcome is you're going to be okay. All right? Look, you're going to be okay. Look, the two of wands is here. All right? You have been making plans though, right? And the plan is already set here. Okay? It's time to take on the world. There's a world right here in this person's hands, all right? It's time to go towards that, okay? It is. Look, the Wheel of Fortune is here. Yes, yes, yes. This is a yes card. You're going to be just fine, okay? The wheel is going to turn in your favor. The wheel is going to turn in your favor. Hello? Late night vibe session, guys. The wheel, mm-hmm, is going to turn in your favor. That's for sure. Okay, so please don't worry. All right, okay, don't worry. You've got this. Okay, yeah, yeah. A part of you too is with this Ten of Swords because the King of Swords fell out on top of this. All right, the thing is, you're you you're, you're ready to speak your truth to this person. You're ready to be honest, but you don't want to get backstabbed. That's the thing. You don't want to get backstabbed or betrayed. You're in fear. Come on, Libra. Let me tell you something. You got to remember, if you hurt somebody, you got to expect the unexpected. I'm sorry. You never know. The person may turn around and just be like, nah, I don't want to fuck with you. Okay? But hey, hey, you got to take it like a G. But it could also turn around where the person is like, yeah, we cool. As long as you don't do that shit to me again. Right? You know, they have boundaries, right? And that's okay, right? But we also saw that your outcome is going to be great, all right? But you've got to take the chance, okay? And you also have to know that the person is still going to stand their ground, okay? They're not going to be nasty or mean about it, but they're just going to let you know, hey, you hurt me before, okay? So I hope you guys come in and apologize to whoever you, you, you kind of effed over, okay? That, that's, the, that's one of the first things you need to be doing, all right? Okay? 
because this person is completely on your mind with the seven of cups. You can't stop thinking about this person. You daydream about this person. You wake up thinking about this person. You go to sleep thinking about this person. All right? Yeah, and you want to make a love offer to this person. Page of cups. All right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Libra. You got this, all right? You got this in the bag. Your outcome is great, but you're going to have to take the risk. You're going to have to take a chance, okay? Yeah, it might be a little rocky, or you or, you know what I'm saying? Like right in the beginning, maybe, you know, just a little bit. Like the person's just going to set their boundaries, but I feel like this person that you're moving towards is, is still going to be very cool, all right? But they just, they just need to know that you um, have changed, okay? All right. And make sure you apologize to this person and, and don't sit up all night stressing. You know, you know, if you don't take the action towards somebody, you will never know. OK, you will never know if it's going to be a yes or no. OK, but you have to take that risk. All right. Okay, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you, Libras. I hope you have an amazing night and I really hope that this video helps you in the nick of time. All right, guys, love you so much and peace.